In this video I want to talk about why WordPress developers should learn Git. And really most of what I'm going to say doesn't really apply only to WordPress developers, but just developers in general. First of all, the most obvious reason to use Git is that it allows you to undo stuff in an easier way. But actually there's a lot more to it. One of the most important things is of course teamwork. It, al it allows you to work in teams. So if you're using Git, each team member can work on different features, they can collaborate on the same features, they can see who changed what, and they can also blame each other because they all of a sudden they can prove who added a line of code to index.php in 2011 or whatever. And even if you're not working in a team, using Git gives you a lot of control. You've probably been in a situation where you had a WordPress plugin or WordPress theme and you're working on some, on some kind of feature on it, and then someone finds a bug that you need to fix immediately. So what do you do? Do you remove the stuff you already added, or do you just keep it in there while you make the bug fix? And If you're using Git, you could just have the new feature on its own branch, and then you could just fix the bug on the master branch, and you wouldn't have to really deal with the conflicts between the bug fix and the new stuff you're working on that's not really done yet and ready to be released. And then, of course, if you're using Git, uh, it's really easy to have a backup of your code because you can basically just push it to GitHub or Bitbucket or GitLab or one of the other hosted Git repository services that's out there. Lastly, it makes deployments a lot easier. You can set up automated deployments, so whenever you release a new feature and you tag it in Git, it can be uh, released to your client servers or the users of your plugin. That's what my plugin WP Pusher does. In the WordPress world, SVN has been dominating for a long time, mainly because the WordPress.org repository is, it uses SVN. And I wouldn't be too surprised if WordPress.org slowly starts moving closer to Git. I think at the moment you can already contribute to WordPress uh, on GitHub, and the new release of Calypso is also on GitHub. So a lot of stuff is going on on GitHub right now. And if you don't already know Git, it's definitely the time now. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.